This is insane. Two survivors of the Tusula race massacre where uh, a mob of white people with the help of police and others killed a bunch of black people in Tulsa and burned down Black Wall Street. And the Oklahoma Supreme Court doesn't think two of their survivors deserve justice for what happened to them? That's insane. How can we say we have a justice system when they're denying justice to people who deserve it? At 109 years old, Lessie Benningfield Randall was front row as her team of attorneys said they wouldn't stop pushing for justice. No one disputes that the massacre happened, yet it's hard to explain, okay, well, why aren't we able to move forward? Randall, along with 110-year-old Viola Fletcher, are the last two living survivors of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. They penned a statement that a member of their legal team read at the news conference. It is 2024. 103 years after the Tulsa race massacre, and our legal system continues to deny black Americans an equal opportunity to seek justice under the law. The faces in this room are also survivors of the massacre who have since passed away. Attorneys say they don't want the final two survivors to leave this earth without justice. We're going to continue to fight on this issue as long as there are survivors and descendants in a Greenwood community. I talked with lead attorney Demario Solomon Simmons, who told me they're looking for help on two fronts. First, they want the Oklahoma Supreme Court to rehear this case. They filed a petition for a rehearing Tuesday morning. It comes after the court dismissed their lawsuit against the city of Tulsa and other entities more than two weeks ago. That lawsuit said the city caused a public nuisance during the massacre that continues to this day. No, this is a story that this has happened. It's cause damage that's ongoing and it needs to be rectified. At the same time they're looking for a remedy in state court, they're pleading with the Department of Justice to open an investigation into the massacre under the Emmett Till Unsolved Civil Rights Crime Act. It allows the federal government to reopen racially based cold cases for investigation and prosecution. Solomon Simmons says they've had multiple meetings with the DOJ, including an in-person meeting last May, but they're still waiting to hear back from them. Don't just hold us in limbo. It's not fair to Mother Randall. It's not fair to Mother Fletcher. It's not fair to this